What is going on guys, it's Brian with Simple Man's Comics. And in this video, I'm gonna give you three uptrends and three downtrends in the comic book community. Starting with those three uptrends this week, we're gonna get right into it. And the first one I wanna talk about is Miles Morales. It's kind of a no brainer, Miles Morales. Definitely up right now. We're seeing a lot of movement on some of those books. We've been seeing movements, but if you look at it across the board, it's not just Ultimate Fallout 4. We're seeing a lot of sales on those, especially that variant. But we're seeing a lot of other Miles Morales books. That Fiona Staples variant still hot. Now, also seeing that Previews Edition still selling well. My, I'm not going to tell anyone where to spend their money, but my personal opinion, I would never spend money, especially that much money on a previous edition, but no doubt right now, Miles Morales is still hot, and we know there's still some more Spider-Verse news yet to come. We know that new anime movie's coming out next year, and that PS5 game, it's available on PlayStation 4, but that's just for the people that don't have a PlayStation 5. That PS5 game is phenomenal. I know my son, my seven-year-old son, he's played it six times already and keeps coming upstairs saying i just played it again so no doubt miles morales here to stay and is this generation spider-man also moving upwards this week we get walking dead that's right at one time people thought hey the walking dead that series is over you know nothing's gonna come of this book but it's not so true we're seeing a lot of movement in quantity alone of walking dead issue number one and it's funny because i just saw on facebook the other day i want to say in the skybound skybound insiders facebook group that Someone posted that I believe there's 57 Walking Dead number one covers right now. But that original number one cover, still movement, still a lot of sales on that. And we know that the show's coming back at the end of this month. Not to mention, we just talked about it on the last call that just hit FOC, that Walking Dead deluxe issues, issues one through six with those David Finch second print covers and the one in 25 variants. A lot of people were talking about those after Final Order Cutoff. Not to mention, another issue that we're seeing some movement on is I'm seeing a lot of sales for Walking Dead number 19, that first Michonne. But a lot of those single digit issues are seeing some sales growth. And I also think it's people trying to go back and pick up books because they did drop down a little bit. But we are seeing some movement on that series once again. And the last one we're talking about in the three up. Batman Beyond, especially that number one issue, is still hot right now. Seeing great movement, whether it's raw or especially the graded copies. Raw copies, we're kind of seeing priced all over the place between, I've seen sales for 58 bucks all the way to 100 bucks. There's one reported sale for raw for $256. So I think there's a raw sale for $500, but I'll tell you right now, you can get graded copies for that price. So I'd be on the lookout for that. Uh, there's rumors that there's a Batman Beyond movie coming out, live action, or there's even talks of another Batman Beyond animated series. You never know, especially with HBO Max right now. Anything DC is in play, but Batman Beyond continues to sell well. And talking about that original number one issue, usually once you see the number one issue, it doesn't happen all the time, but those later series, they kind of catch that momentum as well and you might see some spikes on those and if you're talking about live action you never know which series they might adapt from or or pick and choose from multiple series so while people are buying up those expensive copies of issue number one i would go back and buy that low-hanging fruit that dollar ben fodder and get you some of those batman beyond i enjoy batman beyond still one of my favorite still a great series so i usually pick it up just for reading alone but now we're going to transition over to the three down and we talked about Walking Dead is up. Here we're going to talk about Farmhand is on the downward trend right now. I'm a big fan of Farmhand. I'm also a huge fan of Rob Gilroy. Fantastic artist. Love his work. Also loved Chew. But it seems like a while back there was news of Farmhand being optioned. That series kind of took off for a little bit. Now, I think since the attention's not on it, we're seeing some of the prices dip a little bit. But it's still a great series. And if you're interested in something fantastic to read and are a fan of Rob Gilroy, such as myself, that's one that I would definitely be picking up. But sticking with Image, another one that's down right now, Oblivion Song. It seems to go hills and valleys where the news will come out and we'll see it spike again. But right now it's down in that downward turn. We're seeing 
you can get CGC 9.8 copies for 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Now, this is a Robert Kirkman book, and we also know that Skybound has that deal with Amazon, so you never know what might show up there, or we've seen with a lot of the other comic book publishers, they might have a deal with one media company, but you're seeing a lot of their properties pop up on others as well. So I would never count them out. Oblivion Song, yes, when it came out, it had a huge print run. That collector's edition is still a great one to pick up, but if you're a fan of this, now's a good time to buy because the prices have kind of declined a little bit. The last one I want to talk about that's down this week that I think is a huge buying opportunity. Talked about it on this channel plenty of times, especially when these books came out. But New Agents of Atlas, those books, those prices right now are super, super cheap. I mean, yes, some of them are $10 to $12, but that's nothing compared to if you get a Disney Plus show. I think Marvel and that cinematic universe is going to go over to it that we've talked about diversity. We've talked about how the Asian market hasn't really been touched yet. And I think that's coming. I think this is a great buying opportunity to pick up those Agents of Atlas books. Whether you're looking at the War of the Realms Agents of Atlas or even the one shots and those self-titled series such as Arrow and Swordmaster. And not to mention some of those Future Fight First comics, right? They had issues out there spotlighting a lot of these characters. Crescent EO, they had some great Inhoc Lee variants, great regular covers. As well as some incentive variants by some fantastic artists. I think... Ages of Atlas still is undervalued and is still well worth picking up. I think there's going to be some news to come. I think it's just natural. And I think it's a great buying opportunity right now to pick up some of those issues. So there it is, guys. There's three uptrends and three downtrends. Let me know in the comments. Are you watching WandaVision? There's so much going, good things going on with WandaVision right now. Don't spoil it for people that haven't caught up on it. But let me know in the comments. What do you think of WandaVision? And what other Marvel shows would you like to see come to Disney Plus? This is Brown with Superman's Comics. I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Went from MIA to LA on the run like I don't got in the state.